What's up guys? Jeremy here for another installment of the Rudiment of the Week project. Um, before we get any further into this video, pause it, stop it, go to Google right now and download yourself a Rudiment PDF. Go to VicFirth.com and find their rudiments, um, whatever, print out 10. If you don't have them already, please go get them. Tape them to your walls, tape them everywhere. Make them your phone background, right? Just allow them to be easily accessible into your life. So, next thing, the Rudiment of the Week project, just to refresh on what this is. This is something for, for myself and for you to take one concept, one simple rudiment, and go and put it in your playing for a whole week. Think about it for a whole week and then let it go off into the world. The idea is that you're going to, to stretch your creativity inside of a pattern or, or a rhythm or something interesting, and you're gonna create as many great ideas and terrible ideas as you can. And some of that will stick, some of it won't. But that's okay, that's the purpose of this project, is to just experiment and, and stretch your knowledge and creativity. And maybe, just maybe, you'll grow a little bit, right? That's the idea. So today is all about the single stroke four. Now, go to your rudiment PDF that you just downloaded or maybe you picked up because you, you're a good student, you already have it. Go look at it, just take a, take a glance. You're probably looking at three 16th note triplets followed by an eighth note. A little three on top of all that, right? That's what we're seeing. Now, I don't wanna think about how weird that is because 16th note triplets, maybe you understand how to make those happen, maybe you don't. I'm going to help you. Something I love about this rudiment in particular and the rudiments in general is that they teach us so much more than just the common patterns that most people dig into. Paradiddles, right? Flam accents, uh, paradiddle diddles, etc. We have lots of them. We have lots of little patterns and little embellishments, but today, we're actually gonna learn some subdivisions, and this is super important for playing uh, with, in different fields, so to speak. So today is all about the single stroke four, and the first thing that we're gonna do is, is talk about how easy it is. Pick up your sticks. You got them? Got your pad? This is a nice Blue Lightning Pro Logix pad here. Get yourself one of these, and you're, you'll change your playing forever. So the single stroke four is really easy, right? Left, right, left, right? No, no, it's not just that. It's it's a relationship to your metronome. Now I'm using the Polynome app. Go get yourself a, an app, but get a free one, get a great one like the Polynome, get a Dr. Beat, I don't care. Just make sure there's something giving you some consistent pulse, right? I'm on 70 BPM today, and let's call these quarter notes for now. Let's keep it really simple. We're just gonna keep them as quarter notes. And what we're going to do is put our sticks down. Put them down. Let's mentally think about triplets. Follow me. One lolly, two lolly, three lolly, four lolly, one lolly, two lolly, three lolly, four lolly. Well, that's still going. Pick up your sticks. We're gonna play four notes. Two, go. One lolly, stop. Again, one lolly, stop. That's it. Now, if you're confused about what we just did, we just played four eighth note triplets, right? Because this is a quarter note. What we're hearing out of my metronome is a quarter note, and we cut that beat up into three even slices, ending on a fourth note, which is beat two, right? That's all that is, but what if we change our perception? What if we say, instead of this being a quarter note, those are eighth notes. So what we're hearing is, is very simple. Let me take this accent off real fast. What if we're hearing one and two and three and four and? What if these are super slow eighth notes? If they're super slow eighth notes, we just play three sixteenth note triplets followed by an eighth note, which is what? A single stroke four. That's as hard as this needs to be is you got to figure out your eighth note pulse three and four and and then you have to take one of those eighth notes and cram three little notes in there just like that let's speed it up we're going to go all the way up to 140 
and double our tempo. Two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Now, if you guys did the math at home, 70 times two is what? 140. Now we are hearing eighth notes at 70 beats per minute. Two and three and four and chicka da chicka da chicka da chicka da Now, I call this the Star Wars rudiment. If you guys have ever heard what the Imperial March, March I believe, dump, chicka da dump, chicka da dump, chicka da dump, dump, dump. Single stroke fours. Always in your head, right? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to play four notes. Right, left, right, left. One, two, one, da, 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 da. That is as hard as this rudiment is. But you need to develop a relationship with that feeling, the way that feels against the pulse at every tempo. Every tempo. We're talking from 70 being your eighth note, which is really, really slow, to 70 being your quarter note, and 140 being your eighth note, and all sorts of, of tempos in between. The way I suggest you do this is start really, really slow, and climb up by small increments, threes, fours, just very slow until you get to 300. Right? Really, really, really fast. It's very, very simple. I hope that you're not super confused because I feel like this was so simple that anybody can do it. Anybody, even if you're not a drummer. If you guys have questions, hit me up on the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. It's all at Jeremy A. Bailey, right? Hit me up. Let me know what you guys think. I hope that you guys can use this in your own playing sometime soon. And until next time, you guys have fun practicing.